Voldemort is my past, present, and future. Yeah, it's not the best anagram in the world, but you get the idea. Now, if you're a Harry Potter fan and you're on Twitter, you'll probably have seen all the cryptic messages that J.K. Rowling has been posting and going crazy about them, because pretty much everyone has been. <sighs> Never thought I'd say this, but J.K. Rowling, such a tease. So the first tweet said, Very busy at the moment, working on a novel, tweaking a screenplay, and being involved in the Lumos campaigns back when I finished something. Which is, you know, fair enough. She's the UK's best-selling author. She's probably got a lot on her plate. But then the next day she comes back and she posts this. Cry, foe. Run amok. Far awry. My wand won't tolerate this nonsense. And would you believe it? Twitter exploded. If you're a Potter fan and you're not on Twitter yet, that's got to be a good enough reason to get involved. Now, several fans translated it as Harry returns. Won't say any details now. A week off. Comment. Suddenly, rumours of a new Harry Potter story were everywhere. Some people already rejoicing, others being really sceptical about it, and a few just praying that this was actually true. But bit by bit, Rowling began posting more clues to help the users find out the real answer, and eventually, someone posted this Newt Scamander only meant to stay in New York for a few hours. To which Rowling replied, Yes! People, we have a winner! Top Clowny points to the fan who thought of that. But imagine being that fan, you know, I, I would love and hate myself at the same time, personally. Because props to them for figuring it out, but at the same time they've also confirmed that there's not going to be another Harry Potter story. Which is something that seems to happen on quite a regular basis at the moment. Now, there's a few things you can take away from this whole episode. First of all, it's clear Rowling really values her fans in terms of sharing information, but also that she recognises their ability to use intellect. Why tell everything straight out when you can give little hints to fans and then they can figure out the answer. I mean the first Fantastic Beast film isn't for a while still, it's not out until 2016, so it's great that she's giving us little teasers at this point. But it also reaffirms just how much Potter fans want another story about the boy wizard. I mean all JK Rowling did was give one little bit of information about the new film and everyone was trying to decipher like some sort of code to see if there was any way possible that she was hinting at a new book. You know, it's been what now, three years since the last film, and people are still really engaged with it. People were posting all these amazing vivid ideas about what they want as well, like it's very really clear that there's loads of avenues that Rowling could go down. Some people wanted to see Harry as a full-time aura, like as a sequel to the original series, others want to see a prequel where it focuses on his parents, on the marauders, and then there's some who even want as far back as, you know, more about wizard history, maybe about the founders of Hogwarts. You know, there's some really interesting stuff there. And you know, there's only so much. And there's only so much satisfaction you can get from reading fan fiction. You want the real thing after a while. It's a difficult issue for me because I always believe you should be moving forward with things. Yeah, definitely celebrate something that was amazing and have nostalgia in little doses, but you gotta think about what you're gonna do next. Having said that, I am now planning to go back to the studio tour at Christmas for the second time in a year. So, you know, what do I know about anything? But the fact that the series still causes such outbursts of emotion and feeling when I mean, it's been absolute yonks since something really happened, since a real sort of monumental event. I mean, yes, there's been odd bits here and there, but nothing like a film or a new book, you know? And so you sort of think, should we really leave that sort of thing to rest? Should we, you know, we should be finding a way to try and bring it back even more. But then you could also argue that's why Rowling created Pottermore. I mean, there's a whole host of stuff on there. The whole Quidditch World Cup escapade that we took off over the summer, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Personally, I'm in two minds as to whether I want another Harry Potter novel, but if I was to be really honest with myself, I'd say yes. As long as it's, you know, done for the right reasons and it's good, then I'd want to read it. And I think J.K. Rowling will one day, because the fact that she's still doing these little bits around the Harry Potter universe, I think that shows that the spark's still there. She's still in, as much invested in this universe as we are, and I don't think she can withdraw from that completely. It just, it's just waiting for the right idea to come up. And if that ever happened, I'm pretty certain it would translate into a movie. You know, whether the actors wanted to or not, I'm pretty certain Warner Brothers would have all the sickles and galleons in the world to persuade them. I mean, that's not necessarily the right reason for it. And 
if it does go ahead, I would want it to be for the right reasons. But it's the most successful film series of all time. Most, one of the most successful series across all forms of media. I can't believe that they'll let it go away completely. I mean, I'm not sure how long ago these were released originally, but I saw some stills from scenes that were deleted from the original, uh, like the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh films. Scenes that never made it onto film, and it was just completely revolutionary to see these, to just these pictures. And I thought, oh man, they've got to be saving those for some sort of special edition re-release some point in the future. Yeah, I, I reckon that, you know, it's going to come back soon at some point. It's just when. Long story short, Potter's not coming back yet. It's only a matter of time, and J.K. Rowling is amazing at writing riddles. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time. You can have a lot of fun here being like, this droid, I don't know who the hell he is, he's just following me around. Is it he or she? Can you say that technically? You know what, I'm just going to get rid of you. Oh my god! So, so close! There we go.